Hello and welcome back to another video. So this video is an app update for Flowtelic. This is the project I'm building. Uh, the goal is to create a Zettelkast in note-taking system meets Zero Inbox, where you build some workflow about building up your second brain knowledge and all of that. It's the app I desperately want to use and I haven't found it in anything else that's out there. So this update is a feature I've just launched and it's called Collections. So if you've been following before, so uh, at Flotelic before you create notes, say uh, my first note, you can then link to other notes. So my second note uh, using the double square notation, very common in the Zettelkasten. So if you use Rome Research, Obsidian, other tools, that's like that. And then you create co collection of notes. And Zettelkasten, the idea is that you create small cards. So it's taken from the index cards uh, before everything was digitized. So, and on each card, you essentially capture one idea, but you link it with other things and your knowledge is in the collection of ideas. And I think that's really powerful. I can see how it's gonna help my writing, my blog writing, and I can see how it's gonna help my YouTube, um, where I can start sharing all that knowledge that I've gained from reading books and watching videos and all, all that, and actually being able to put it into a proper note-taking, proper second brain, proper system to do that. So how do collections work? Uh, very quickly, I realized that as you start cluttering your uh, your area, it's really hard to cross domain. So I have technical notes and I have personal development notes and various other kinds of things, uh, maybe project notes. And having it all in one is a bit tedious because they are different domains of things. So we've got collections on the sidebar here. So this is equivalent to if you've used Obsidian, you would have vaults. So different uh, like projects, different uh, I call them collections because it's a collection of notes. Uh, so I can create a new a new one here. So let's say I want to produce a YouTube video on, and I am, I am going to produce this, on how I use the Zettelkasten method for note-taking uh, my tech notes. So let's say oh, I want to create a YouTube collection. So very rudimentary at the moment. It just takes um, up to two characters of the of each word, first letter of each word, up to two characters. So why for YouTube? This is, this is to just get it working because I very much want to improve on that uh, based on feedback. Uh, and wouldn't it be cool if you could upload a, like a little icon or a graphic or something into, into that? So let's say I want to create, so um, how I use the Zettel Kasten method to record my tech notes. So this is how I would produce uh, something like this. So I would then create an outline. So let's create a heading two outline. And this is what we call an index, uh, an index card where you outline things and then you've got your sub notes here. So in this case, I would do uh, what is the Zettel Kasten method, okay. So I want to create a note on that. I want to create a note on what uh, types of types of things do I record in my Zettel custom method. Right. So you can see I can build up the the story of what I want to put in this YouTube video. And now I can go in and I can start filling this out. What is Zettel custom method? And as I start documenting this, this so I would say. Um, uh, it, it's a note taking system that consists of fleeting notes. Liter, lit, lit, literature notes and permanent notes. Okay, so I'm starting to document what it is, but I'm linking to other things like permanent notes. I could create that. And then I've got the backlinks here. The real magic of this, and I can't stress this enough, is that now when I want to create a blog post or I want to create a YouTube video or I just want to teach, maybe I'm putting some slides together, I can start bringing in things that I've already worked on. So if I'm touching on Zettelkasten method in another video, in another thing, I can just say, let's link in what it is or link in that we're talking about the permanent notes. And the real concept of this is that you build up lots of small notes where it's easy to discover and easy to reuse. And then your sort of index cards and other cards, they start building up knowledge based on bringing it all together. So, uh, so it's really fun. This is 
I just want to make this experience really slick so that I can create my notes at the speed of thought. And where I'm going with Flotelic is that when I read a book, when I create literature notes, when I watch a YouTube video, and I've done this where I, I'm on the iPad, I've got YouTube and I've got Bear App, and I'm literally just recording all those notes, bam, bam, bam. I need to process those. Those notes at that instant in time haven't been fully considered, haven't been organized, haven't been like some things are repetitive, some things are thrown out. I haven't refined it. And getting the habit to do that is really hard. And I, I've taken inspiration from, from apps that do zero inbox really well. You have your inbox of things and you make a decision. Do I want to do something with this or do I want to uh, create to do? And you have your focus mode where you actually write the replies to emails. In this case, I actually take my my fleeting notes, my literature notes, and I put them in what's called a slip box in my permanent notes. That's where I'm going with the app. And it's all about making things really kind of micro chunks of things. So if I've got 10 minutes to spare, I can get real value out of that 10 minutes rather than having to write an essay every time. And then what comes out of that is, is just gonna be really amazing. So I can start blogging and I've got all the research done. I've got all the, I've got access to all that knowledge. I'm not trawling through my notes saying, where did I put it, where did I put it? It's it's organized. So as I as I go through this, as I use it, I'm going to find what features are really important. We'll have tagging. We'll have, um, as I say, index cards. I've got uh, plans for having a grid view. So if you're writing a blog post, you can start laying out all these notes so that you've just got it, all the knowledge there. You're just now writing and editing, and it's a, it's a lot less stressful. Um, and you've got a lot of things. And Really exciting. So yeah, uh, just an update here and a share of like what this thing is. And uh, yeah, so collections, I've just launched that. And um, and on this channel, I plan to share more of the behind the scenes, how I've approached building this, um, how I've designed it. What I've got a design system that I'm sort of using in Sketch. I'm gonna do a video on that and how I record tech notes, um, how I've done the DevOps because to launch, this, uh, I literally just pushed to a production branch and that goes up into Jenkins running in a set of cloud servers that I'm using and it just deploys it. And I'm fully in control of that, um, partly for learning, partly for other reasons. And I wanted to really embody that in this project to make my life easier to launch. And quite literally it took two minutes to launch this feature um, and it just goes live and it works. So, uh, so yeah, if you are interested in all of that stuff, hit that subscribe button, seriously. Like the more people who subscribe, the more I will be willing to share because like how awesome is that? Having people really interested in what I'm interested in, in this little little niche that is note-taking tech and, uh, and all that. So thank you very much.